Guys, we're about to go to war for Catherine's Kitchen Rats. And we're about to do that right now. Alright guys, behind this door here is Catherine, who's just an absolute sweetheart. She contacted us saying, guys, I really, really need your help. I have set poison traps, I have set snap traps, I bought two cats to try to defend uh, all these rats out of her kitchen. That didn't work. So guys, we're about to go inside here and see what we can do to, to control the rat infestation, see where some of the entry points are, and really help her eradicate this massive rat infestation. And when we talk about rat infestation, we're talking if she leaves a little cat food during the day, the rats come out of the yep. kitchen cabinet the oven and attack that cat food so I'm prepared I built a homemade dart took some copper pipe and I'm ready to shoot one if I have to here we go guys let's go meet Catherine she'll walk us around tell us exactly what's going on here and we're gonna get to the bottom of it right now good morning <coughs> Catherine <coughs> how are you how am oh. I <laughs> Frustrated, very frustrated. Very frustrated, huh? And so you got two cats thinking that this would control the problem. That's right. And nothing has helped. No. They just sit by and they would watch. Just like it's entertainment. Yeah. Got it's it. terrible. Walk us around and show us where you set traps if you can, Catherine. Give us an idea of what you've tried to do to help. To help, yeah. Okay, underneath here. Okay. I put traps. This is that kind. Okay. And nothing there? No, no success? No ah. success. Over here I put sticky traps. I think there's two and three down there. Oh yeah, right there. And nothing there, huh? Nope. Right down here too. Okay. Underneath that chair. And look at the uh, the grease marks here. They've been climbing up on your uh, spice racks as well. Look at that. Look at that up there. I'm, I'm just such a busy person that I haven't had time to look at it. You know? Sure, look at that. Did, have you done anything inside your cabinets as far as like traps or anything like that? Yes, I had I had stickies in there. Okay. But nothing happened. Look you know? at the grease marks back there. That's more traps. They're all more... over back there. Look at oh, that. Oh, yeah. Wow. Another trap and more poison. How long has this been going on, Catherine? You know, I have to tell you, my son got murdered back in 1992. Oh, my regards. And I have been so, um, just really, I guess there's a kind of depression. Oh. And I've kept myself very busy as a, as a jazz photographer and chiropractor yeah. and just ignored stuff, uh, really, you know to the point of, you know, this mess. This mess, yeah. That's, so, that, I'm sure that's been, that's taken its toll with your son. I can, my, our regards to you, Catherine. Yep. Yep, he was a uh, paratrooper, Burgundy Beret, Long Beach College of Oceaneering, diver, deep sea, and went down to Hurricane Andrew in uh, Louisiana, okay. and he didn't come back. Oh. But he got murdered. He didn't get just, you know, not doing his work. He didn't even get started. Oh, my, my blessings. Just wow. a terrible thing. Terrible. But anyway, this is... Well, um, this has been a nuisance, right, these rats? Oh, a nuisance. How, how, how big of an inconvenience? Have they gotten into your your contents? Your You know, have they gotten into your personal stuff? Yeah, I have a purse with the holes in the bottom where they chewed it. Oh, let's go see that. Okay. Dave, I think the rats are inside this kitchen, to be honest with you. Yeah, it looks like it's all going to be in this area right here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Is there a nest back there, Dave? No, but there's just so much. Ooh, that's hot. Bill? There's so much spill back there. They... They are loving that condition back there. You can tell that's a nice little runway for them. Yeah. So the good news is we've got a crawl space, so we're gonna investigate what's going on underneath this area right here. Let's go look at that, uh, the other items. Hey you, hey you, hey you. 
How are you? Yes, I know. We're going to get the rat. I know. Have they been bothering you too? Yep, I got you. This is a purse. Oh, wow. And on the other side, here, and it, and it was new, you know? Jeez. Well, we have a lot to investigate between the kitchen, the roof, the exterior, the crawl space. So we have a big day ahead of us. <laughs> a big, big day. So, um, all right, let me get the that. team started, Catherine, and uh, we're going to keep you posted as we progress here, okay? Okay. We're here for you. I want you, you to know that. Thank truly, you. truly, we're here for you. Thank you. Okay? I appreciate it. You got it. Here we go. Yes. I know. I know. I know. All right, guys, you can see here, um, you can smell, to be quite honest with you, the indoor air quality is um, is. is pretty bad between the cats, the dogs, and the rats. It's uh, it's pretty bad, so we're going to be keeping our mask on most of the day here. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of rat infestation here in this kitchen. You can just literally smell it. All right, we're going to go ahead and start with our uh, traditional smoke and just make sure and verify with the, uh, with the sewer. That way we can start the uh, investigation process. So let's head up to the roof and see what, uh, what type of conditions are up on the roof for Catherine. What's going on up here, Dave? I'm going to get a flashlight. Well, there's some suspect areas right here. Uh-huh. It's, it's weird because you can smell the urine emanating from this vent here. And here smells like... And this uh, is above the kitchen, guys, just so you know. Yes. There's the, uh, there's the oven uh, exhaust fan there. But yeah, look at Dave's right. You see the uh, rat, the rat droppings right here. Trails all the way up. It's too dark for me to see what's really going on in here, but this is wide open to the attic area. Yeah, right there. In the meantime, we've got we've got our smoke injecting inside the kitchen sink vent pipe. As you can see, guys, some of these uh, exhaust fans they're wide open right there for sure. So we're definitely gonna address that. Looks like somebody came up and did some exclusion work here on the on the chimney. Ooh, I don't want to step right here. Look at that. This roof is shot. All right, guys. So here's my homemade dart, the sharp nail. This slides into the copper pipe like that. Now check it out. I'm going to go ahead and nail that fence right there. Watch this. What's Dave doing over here? Let's see what he's doing. What's that for? Well, I'm just gonna set up a target for us. Okay. And basically, we'll do what? what we'll do is we'll set this trap up on this fence. Really? Oh. And then whoever hits that middle feed plate with the blow gun. Okay. The best out of three gets to use the blow gun and the other twin has to do all the work of containing in that kitchen. So you up for the challenge, Jim? Totally up for it. That's let's, a great idea. Let's I love do it. And we're going to have John uh, be sort of our referee here. So John, are you ready? It's all loaded up and ready to go. So it's a copper pipe. What I did is I reamed it. Okay. And uh, we use a plumber's putty, make a little ball. Okay. And then uh, let's go see ahead. how it's done. Go. Oh, it's a blow gun. Okay. Ooh, here we go. Ooh! First shot. Look at that. All right, folks, up about, uh, about 10 feet, four inches away from that trap. Let's pretend we're zeroing in on a rat. Come up like this, nice and steady. Wrap the lips around the pipe. And then... Bullseye again. Dave's an actual great, great shot. So that's two for two. Two, for two. here two we go. Two for two. Oh, he's going back further, guys. About uh, 14 feet away here, guys. Any movement, actually, Dave, is going to activate and deploy this rat trap. But I got to give it to you. You hit. You did a hit a bullseye the last two. That one hit right here, guys, and it still deployed the uh, the rat. So now it's my turn. Here we go. Now my strategy, guys, is um, I keep my fingers wide like this just to keep me stable here. Oh, 
horrible. That was absolutely horrible. terrible, guys. Guys, I'm gonna give this one to Dave. Let's get back to work. See the rat droppings right there, right in the crawl space. Yeah, these are old droppings here. Yeah, if you can come over here, Tom, so, so we can take a look at the underneath the kitchen cabinets right here. Any suspect areas in there? Under it. Here's the sink, right? Yeah. Yep. I don't know, not yet, no. Everything looks okay. The, the oven is over by your feet. Nothing it yet. Pretty sealed up? Yeah. Normal. Let's build the door container right here. Okay, because I think what I'm what I'm thinking there's rats underneath here right now. And then we're gonna grab the ladder and then we'll set some bait up right here and see if these rats uh if come out if come out and then we'll be up on the ladder with Dave's Sharp loader. shooting skills, but I'm not using putty. I'm using this homemade dart here. So if you're for the rats and you want a humane way, this may not be the video for you. Sorry. Okay. Looks like uh, looks like refried beans I had last night. No. <laughs> <laughs> so Dave, you're gonna have to stay real still. Yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna try to see if we can blast them out with our aerosol. They hate this noise right here. <laughs> Come on, rats, where are you? Not in there today. Nope. That was your oh, big, massive rat's nest behind this refrigerator. Poof. Okay, get the, let's get the vacuum, the rigid vac, Tyvek suits, goggles. Ooh. Oh, oh. That's where they're nesting. Look at that. Oh my God. Look at, look at the runway. Look at the runway. This is, this is all a runway right here. Look at that. Oh yeah. This is all gonna have to go out. Oh man, it's bad. This is bad. They're nesting in there, man. Look at that. Probably the biggest rat nest I've ever seen behind a refrigerator in my career. Look at this. So but the hunt was unsuccessful. They didn't come out for the bait. But look what we found. Oh my gosh. They've eaten the... Look at that. Look at over there in the corner. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. You could see the runway there. You see all that dark and then it goes up. So we got to investigate what's going on up between that. There's a wall in the back of the cabinet there. Mm -hmm. There might be another nest up there. Oh wow. Anytime you clean up any type of nesting, it's really important to go ahead and encapsulate it, wet the agents or wet the contaminating materials. So as you're disturbing it, it doesn't fly up into the air and the vacuum uh, extracts it a lot better. So that's what I'm doing now. See that hole? Yeah. All right, guys. So there's a big space between the wall and the cabinet here. So we got to investigate what's going on up here. Look, they're starting to chew the drywall right there. Uh -huh. So what we'll do is we'll, let's just net this off here, Dave. <laughs> Guys, I love this stuff. I... I'm not sponsored by it or anything. This is an amazing product. It really resolves and dissolves that urine. Smell better? Yes, yeah, smells better. Definitely. Better, right? Yeah. Yeah, look at your refrigerator already. Uh, it's hard to believe. Isn't that great? Oh yeah, it just is. <laughs>
Between the grease and the rat poop, that's how thick it is. We found a bunch of nesting material underneath your, your uh, look at the bag full of, this Under is that. all rat nesting material. Oh that was all God. underneath the backside of your cabinets and refrigerator. Oh, horrible. Isn't that now look at look at look behind the refrigerator now. Remember all that paper? Oh yeah. Remember how grease that was? Look Remember at that. All was full of grease. Oh absolutely. That? that got all sanitized. This is all getting cleaned right now. The, this okay. oven right here, the side, no more grease. It's it looks like brand new. Alright guys, so now it's uh gotta feel so much better in here. I, I I can't express there's no words that could just express the amount of urine smell that this place had before we sanitized i mean it's I, I feel like vomiting a bit because it's just feels like it just coated my stomach i had to change the mask out twice but anyhow now we're going to focus on exclusion so where jimmy showed you where all that poop is running up that shingle roof into that corner it's right above this area here and this is where the runway was right here so what we're going to do is we're going to seal this off here obviously do our exclusions up on the roof but as a preventative we don't want them to come back in here just in the event they are nesting in here or up there up in the attic area so we're going to protect the kitchen by just adding some screen and then we'll put a couple of sticky traps up here so if they do come down here hopefully we can catch them so that's what we're going to do here and then we'll put this refrigerator back and monitor we found a trail of droppings that were led right into a hole, dumping into your attic, and then through your kitchen, and then nesting down here. That's their runways. And you detected it. We oh, yeah. found it. Underneath the crawl space, no holes coming up. That looks good. Wow. So we're gonna end up monitoring. We're gonna finish up our exclusion work, and then we'll monitor. We'll be in touch the next couple of days. Okay. Feeling good so far? Better? So far, yes. Good. Oh, absolutely. Good. I had no uh, no idea that there was so I don't much. think you had any expectations of today of what, what, we're, what we were about to reveal, huh? No. No way. Yeah. Did okay. you think we were just going to come and close some entry points and set some traps? Well, that's what I would have thought. Right. <laughs> possible. Yep. Okay. But you have this, a reputation that's... You know, go go getters. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> that. Well, and I appreciate you telling me that I'm the better looking twin too, Catherine. Well, I, let I appreciate me see. that. The aspects, the aspects of <laughs> the features are very similar. But, yeah, but there are some differences. Differences, yeah. Yeah. He's a little taller. He's got twinkles in his eyes, mischievous and orneriness and <laughs> Ooh, yes. Just like my mom said. Just like my mom said. You're perfectly right. And then you over there, you seem like you're more sincere, but you have a little glint in there too. Ooh. You you got the capabilities of it. I love it. <laughs> Thompson's up there. We've got a we've got a gun up there and we, we seal off all the holes from your attic or from your roof into your attic. This is a good good educational piece in the sense that um, if rats get into your home, they have a couple choices. If there's enough food source inside, like Catherine's kitchen, they're gonna make entryway into that kitchen. So, you know, a lot of homes that are completely spotless, they don't usually make it inside the house. They'll usually have 
outside food sources and then nest inside the attics or the walls and they'll never make it inside because there's not enough food source so in Catherine's case with all the cat food and uh, a lot of the contents inside this house unfortunately the rats are very attracted to that and they will they will take over as you as you saw here it's, it's amazing with the amount of nesting materials that we found here unbelievable I'm gonna set this trap up and with some bacon so get some bacon grease on my fingers here and then we'll just smear it on this wood and then I took a big kind of a fatty piece and then uh, clipped it into the this little theater here and uh, so now it just smells really really good a lot of bacon grease we'll set this bad baby up over here in the attic area so we're pretty much wrapped up for today we've sealed off everything we've up on the roof the entry point was right above that refrigerator where all of those grease and secretion marks were coming in but i gotta be honest with you catherine there's a lot of cleanup to do with these rats they have literally destroyed your home you've got you've got a lot of nesting of your own personal contents and what's happening is that because of all of the materials and plastics and bags and stuff, they, they, they've used all that and they feel very, very comfortable. And there's a lot of the pheromones and, you know, the urine and the dropping in a lot of different areas here. So I think we've, we've stopped them from coming in. So I think so the next step is to really give your place a really deep cleaning and get rid of all of that and that's something that i would have encourage you to do right away versus uh, just so that way you're breathing a mm -hmm. better environment in here because it is pretty pretty infested mm -hmm. it's been absolutely phenomenal you you've just up in every nook and cranny and every space and mm -hmm. Just uh, unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Oh, thank you so thank much. You. you deserve a medal of honor. Oh, <laughs> Courage. You. Thank you, Captain. I mean, it was a dirty mess. I yeah. mean, yeah. it was a dirty mess. I, I've just got so much stuff I've just got to go through and get out, yep. get rid of it. There you go. That's yeah. going to be the key. Okay. Well, I think uh, well, we've got you sealed up. All right, guys, we're back at Catherine's. She called us and said that she had a little surprise that she wanted to show us because we had been talking to her for monitoring and uh, I guess she found something and she says she saved something in the freezer. Yeah. We don't know what that means, but we're about to find out right now. You guys are going to be so happy. I, I have something in the freezer to show you. Ooh. I found two little babies on the floor. And I wrapped them up in paper and put them in the freezer so you can see them. Little pups, oh, huh? Little babies, yep. Let's go check it out. All dead. Wow. Let's take a look. This is very interesting. Put them in a bag. I've never seen frozen rats before. Oh, oh look, at that. look at that. Little babies. But look at that tail on a baby Big rat. tail, wow. Isn't that wild? Look at oh, that. yeah, so you had a nest and it looks like we've disrupted yes. in another one. Look, twin rats. There's Jim and Dave. There you go. <laughs> 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 See if there's anything hiding in here by chance, Jimmy. I went, I pulled this all out. Okay. There was a mess all through there. Oh, a bunch of nesting materials there, huh? Yeah, and then I pulled this out. Yeah. That's good that you're slowly getting things kind of... Well, I'm beginning to see where they're coming yeah, from. Right. Now you're going to look at this. Those oh, are photograph look albums. Look at them. And look oh. what they've done to them. Isn't that horrible? Oh. I haven't even begun to, and look at the top there. Oh my gosh. I haven't begun to pull the albums out because God, Catherine, they've really done some chewing here. Yes. Oh, 
my white cat came out from I don't know where and she chased she went into the fireplace out and she chased the, the, the rat and now they're both in the corner. The corner okay. This corner over here? Over there by the T V. Right there guys. Get in there. Get in there. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Is that a zapper? David got him. David got him. David got him. Wow. David got him. Oh, got him. Oh, got him. Oh. The darting him? Gosh, guys, hurry, watch out, we gotta go outside. Woo! They're everywhere in that house. We found their nest, guys. Yep, we found their nest. Yeah, so what they were doing is they were yeah. nesting inside each one of those. Yep. Look at all that nesting material yes. there. Get all that there. Oh, uh, yeah. Hold on, slow. A pair of old underwear there. That's disgusting, man. I've never seen so much infestation. Look at this, you guys. Look at that. We found their nesting. We killed one rat in here. Look at all the nesting. Oh my gosh. And these are collectible records. That's where they've been nesting. They've been nesting. We found three sleeping rats three sleeping right rats there. In each of those slots. And I was able to get one. Two bolted off into your office. I shot, I shot one with the dart, it, it hit this guy, but there was two more here, we got this one. Unbelievable, we took them outside. And those are collectible albums, antique. They're collectible? Yeah, people gave me those when family members died and I just put them in there and forgot about them. Those are important things. And look at yeah. them, destroyed. Well, satin brass. Got her little ass chewed. <laughs> All right, guys, so here's my dart. You can see I got him. That's what was causing him to bleed. Look at that. Right there, you can see the blood. Right, no, go back, Joe. Right there. So this thing just flew and whacked him in the head. Oh my God. Talk about an adrenaline rush. This was insane. As you can see, there's rats everywhere. We've secured the property, but I'm telling you right now, there's so much stuff going on in there. There's so many nests that we don't even know about. They've been in there for a long time and they're comfortable in there. It's unbelievable. I'll never forget this rat call. I love your blow dart with the copper pipe. That literally went oh, right in it. I wish we could, hopefully we catch it on camera, yeah. but that dart just came flying because I was looking right at his eyes. We were looking at each other and that dart just came flying. I knew I got him, yep. but I couldn't see him because we're just not so enough dark, light in there. But, oh my God. Okay. Yeah. Hey Crazy. guys, this is an awesome episode from the frozen rats to the rat hunting. Leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And appreciate all your support that you guys are giving us. Yes. I really do. And if you're a pest control company out there, hey, reach out to us if you need help so we can work together and help these folks out. Hey guys, until next time, we'll see, see you on, on the next, next one. one.